What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 110 of Xur. And Xur is located on Nessus. And he is by the Watcher's Grave over here on that Cabal ship. So let's go see what he has this week. Xur! What's up dude? Like my new moves, bro. You like my new moves? They look all so good. I bring gifts of the nine. So, like I went to start the left hand side, we have the weapon of the week, which is the Telesto. It, it is an exotic fusion rifle. Then we have Dune Marching for the Titan, Transverse Death for the Warlock, as well as Charge of Galano for the Hunter. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the uh, Telesto first. And try to perk on this is Unplanned Reprieve, which projectiles attach and detonate. Then we have uh, Projection Fuse. Harbinger's Pulse, which mostly kills with this weapon, immediately reload your equipped kinetic and energy weapon from reserves, as well as Polymer Grip. Now, it doesn't actually come with ornaments, but it does have two. We have Reef and Ruins. Looks pretty cool. And then we also have Dread from Below. Eh, it's okay. I prefer the original Celesto the way it looks, because that looks pretty much badass. So... It is definitely good in PvE and PvP. If you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. If you guys do not know what a tier scale is, I will put it down in the description box below. Next, we have the Dune Marchers. I'm trying to perk on this is Linear Actuators, which gives you faster sprinting and chain melee damage. And you can actually go ahead and put whatever uh, mods you have on it. And this actually does have a ornament called uh, Hip Waiter. It pretty much doesn't really do much. Nope, it pretty much just changed its color, that's it. Now, this has a decent mobility on it, so I probably would get it, but I don't know, I probably would try to look for something with higher mobility. Currently, I have my stompies on that have a mobility of plus 18, which is definitely a good spot for an exotic. Um, anywhere between 15 plus for anything that requires you to run is a lot better than uh, 13. Plus, um, Dune Marcher's strength doesn't really help you out. Well. Um, but besides that, Dune Marcher is still a good exotic to have for a Titan. It still is going to be a tier 2 in PvP, but probably a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvE. Um, this particular one, I probably would skip on. Next, we have the Transversal Steps, and this has a great mobility. Trying to perk on this is Strange uh, Protractor, which buffs Sprint, Sprinting Reloads Current Weapon. And this ornament is a Stride to the Edge. And I actually like it. So right off the bat, it does have great mobility, it does have good intellect, good intellect, I didn't say great intellect, but that mobility itself definitely is a worthwhile um, reason to get this exotic, so definitely grab it. Um, it's definitely a tier 2 in PV as well as PvP. Next, we have the Shards of Galanor. Trying to perk on this is Sharp Edges, which you get super energy for Blade Barrage hits and kills. And the ornament for this actually is called Blued Steel. And it makes it look pretty much brand new and not rusted and yeah, pretty badass. So, this is a intellect focus exotic and the intellect on this isn't really too good. Remember, I did say 15 plus for you know, an exotic that is pretty much worthwhile and takes the most advantage of um, its perks. Right now, the character stat for this obviously is intellect because it requires you to use your super, but that's a plus 12. So I probably would skip on this one for this week. Next, we got your consumables, which is five of swords, AKA a nightfall uh, challenge card. Then we got your invitations and I'm never doing this ever again. And last but not least, we have your faded engram, which does give you forsaken exotics so if you don't have one of these go ahead and uh i guess grab it otherwise you will be spending 97 legendary shards 
um, in order to, you know, get the same exotic. For me, I got the wonderful useless Worklift Coil, and it's useless because I already have one, and there's no such thing as Weapon 2.0 in this, or well, as of uh, Shadow Keep. So, yeah. Oh, well, you know what? It dropped at 950, so I guess I can't be too mad. Yay! And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.